Hello guys, in this video I will show you four things that you can customize in Laravel Fortify Powered Auth. So first thing, add a username to this form. Second thing is customize the validation rules, including for that username, so it would be, for example, minimum three characters or something. Third is customizing login by email or username or both. And then number four will be redirect after login to home or to whatever you want. And the starting point of our video is the result of a previous video I've shot about Laravel UI and Fortify. If you haven't seen that, I will link that in the description below. But basically the starting point is Fortify powered project Laravel with four views in Fortify service provider. And now let's customize that. So let's add a username. And first usual Laravel stuff, migration. So make migration, add username to users table in database migrations new migration table string username then we need to make it fillable in user model models user by default it's these fields but let's add username here and visually we go to register blade which is generated from laravel ui and let's add just name and then copy one field to username, for example, under email, label for username, and just change everything to username here. That's it. Let's do the migration. Okay, field added. Now let's refresh the registration page, and we have our username. I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill it out. Let's just change the password to something I would know. Register. And of course, we get the error that username doesn't have a default value. And now we get to Fortify customization. Where to add that username? In the Fortify, when you launch this command of vendor publish, it creates app actions directory. And one of the actions is create new user. So this is where you would overwrite everything related to new user creation. Public function create, everything is public. You don't need to overwrite anything. You just add whatever you want. So username, input, username. And that input is actually request all. And same with validation rules. We duplicate the name and make the username also required. And now if we refresh that, we have our user in the database. And if I try to log in with that email, login, email, password that I've created, and I'm in. So registration works, username saving works, and login with email works. Now, how do we log in with username instead? And for that, you would need a file config fortify, which also is published with the same command of vendor publish. And in config fortify, one of the setting is username. So by default username is email, but let's change that to username. And it may look a bit confusing because you have username and you have email. What's the difference? An email thing is used for confirmation of password update, for two-factor authentication, so anywhere the actual email sending is used. So username is for authentication and email is for actually sending email. Now let's customize the login blade form. Instead of email, we have to have username. So username, username type text, username here, username, like this, and let's refresh. So we have the username and password, and if we try to log in with email, it will fail. But if we try to log in with username, this is our username from the database, we are successfully logged in. And if you want to support both username and email for login, let's log out. And in Fortify documentation, there's a section about customizing user authentication and you can specify your own method with authenticate using in service provider. So we're back to Fortify service provider. We copy and paste the code from the documentation. Request is HTTP request. So this user is user model, this one, and hash is this one. 
And here you can customize whatever you want, how that username and password is checked. So by default, it's email and hash check with password, but we can do or where username equals request. And in fact, it's username in our case. Username, username, of course, or where, and first, like this, and this. Let's try it out. Refresh our login form. Let's paste the username again. Successful login. Let's log out and try the email. Login, email. Again, successful login. So this is how you can customize the checking of the credentials by using Fortify Authenticate Using. And final thing, how can you redirect after login not to home, but to whatever you want? It's customizable in Config Fortify. If you scroll down a bit, default home is in route service provider. You can click and change that in route service provider or change that directly in the config. So for example, slash welcome. So after login, we log out, log in again. And we are on a welcome page, but it's just not found. But you see my point how to customize that redirecting after login or after registration. So that's it. These are simple tips how to customize new Laravel Fortify in Laravel 8. And the whole logic behind Fortify was to make it configurable as much as possible. So some of those things will be in config Fortify and other things will be in app actions folder, which you can customize with whatever code you want there. If you want more videos on Laravel almost daily now, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified of new videos and see you guys in those other videos.